Hey folks, here at OS Reviews. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens if you have a tablet or a phone that has a cracked glass or a cracked digitizer, which means that if you turn it on, you'll see that the screen itself is no longer touch sensitive and you can't access anything or unlock it. However, the display might still be intact, or if you have a way to connect it to an external monitor by way of HDMI, you can still see what's going on. However, you can't really access anything by way of the touch screen. So a lot of devices actually have OTG support. These Days, especially with modern day tablets. Um, it's not guaranteed on every single device, but you know, the majority of Android phones and tablets, even budget ones here in 2016, should come with it. So let's say you have a crushed screen, but you still want to use it, maybe kind of in the way of a pseudo netbook. You don't really care about the screen, you don't want to replace it, that might be you know overly expensive, or if you want to get important files transferred out before a new product arrives, again, this video might be informative and show you guys how that process can be done. So what you need to obtain is an OTG cable. Uh, it can either have power passing through it or just be a passive cable that you see here. And you can find this in the links below. You can check it out. It's just a very simple micro USB tip to a full size uh, USB tip. And this will allow you to connect other peripherals such as a USB hub if you want to connect even more USB sources like a thumb drive or a keyboard or a mouse. But uh, in this case, this one is the cheapest since it just has one here built in directly. And uh, this tablet in particular does support OTG and a lot of them will. There's no other required settings that you need to go through. Just plug it in and it will work automatically and detect that this has been kind of inserted. The next step would then to be plugging in a mouse, uh, for Android at least. I've tried plugging in a keyboard first, but that doesn't really seem to work unless you know a specific combination of keys to press to bypass the screen. I trust the space bar, the enter key, that doesn't tend to always work, but in this case I've plugged in a USB-based mouse and it works right away. You can see a virtual cursor appears on screen which will be very handy for unlocking things and now I have access to the main screen once again even though the screen itself is no longer touch sensitive. So obviously at this point I can now use this as basically a mini desktop or mini computer and still access all the files and functions. Um, so it's not completely trashed right away. There's still some utility to this that you can get out of a device that has a cracked screen, for instance. The next step, if you are looking to transfer important files out directly, maybe by dragging and dropping important files from the gallery, or if you're working on an app, uh, files that you've stored there would be to replace the mouse with uh, something like a iFlash drive that can be plugged in, uh, something like that. But before you do that, if you only have one USB port, what you want to do is go, into, go to settings, so I'll tap on setting, settings over here and go to Bluetooth and turn that on. And then chances are you'll have a Bluetooth keyboard or a mouse lying around. And in my case, I already have that set up over here. I've linked it up to Bluetooth. So every single time this uh, device is turned on, the keyboard is turned on, it will automatically be able to also uh, register the tablet. And I can also bring up this virtual cursor you can see on screen and type out messages, interact with different icons and use it like, again, a mini laptop or a mini desktop. Um, if I don't really care about the screen not looking as good in terms of the condition, it's basically fully functional, except for the touch. So at this point, I can then use this cable here to plug in a thumb drive or to complete any file transferring necessary or continue using it at least before a replacement laptop or a netbook arrives. So again, this is a few ways for you to elongate the life of a cracked uh, you know, tablet or you know, a uh, phone and, you know, not all hope is lost. If you have important files located on it, you can still access your content. And uh, even if your screen is no longer responsive, just by, again, hooking up a OTG cable and then going from there. Thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews.